So, thumb pulling. Thumb pulling. Thumb pulling. Thumb pulling. Thumb pulling. If you can change the shape of the upper palate, if you can get some expansion, it's going to be more natural for you to do mewing. I know a lot of you have been waiting for me to get to this subject. I've been wanting to do deep dives on lots of these subjects, and I realize I've just not got the time, energy, and bandwidth to go that deep, not as an individual person with so many other projects we're running at the moment and things I've got to get on, this mission I'm on. So we want to act as a community and don't forget I've been sort of badly beaten up you know I've four things you know family issues going bust dad dying and being suspended all in one year any one of those could sink someone all of those in the same year it's been tough so I need your help you can help me so that I can help you. That's the best way forwards. I think we're only scratching the surface with mewing. I think there is so much more we can do. Now, thumb pulling really interests me. We've got basically 22 bones in the head. I mean, that's including the ethmoid bones that are probably not involved in this, but excluding the ear bones and the hyoid because I don't think they're really relative. It's interesting because thumb pulling follows the basic principles of cranial osteopathy and craniosacral therapy. So here's an image showing the concepts behind them. And what really interests me is how two totally separate professions, one osteopathy that came to cranial osteopathy and one chiropractic that has come to craniosacral therapy, have come to two very similar conclusions. And their conclusions is that there's this rhythmic pattern of motion within the skull. This runs at about six to 12 cycles a minute. That is about every five to 10 seconds, this per cycle. This is called the primary respiration mechanism, the PRM or the cranial rhythmic impulse CRI. There's a problem because it is really quite difficult to get two different practitioners to agree on this CRI on one individual person. So I'm not going to claim that there's a great deal of science behind this topic. And if you talk to a lot of doctors, they are literally going to laugh in your face for even mentioning this. And so it is interesting because, but you've got to imagine that the cerebrospinal fluid clearly does move and it's going to move somehow. And this pattern seems to make sense. And then when you disarticulate a skull, when you pull a skull apart and you look at the individual sutures, those sutures clearly seem to allow exactly the movements that would be required for that movement of the skull bones. So they seem to confer, it seems to be good validation looking at the sutures. And there's great evidence that these sutures are patterned. I mean, people have done these experiments where they've tried to fuse the sutures. The sutures won't fuse, they'll reopen. Then they've tried to fuse them, but making a bypass cut. And then you can fuse them, but a new suture opens on the bypass cut. So clearly movement is occurring. You know, I think that's fairly well validated. And I can understand why it would be hard to really get good science on what is realistically quite a small movement. So now there's good anecdotal evidence, especially from babies. I often referred patients to craniosteopaths when I was working in orthotropics. I would say to them, look, I, from my anecdotal evidence, I think it helps. And if you are happy or if you see a craniosteopath or have seen one, then I would recommend you saw one or I would recommend one. And it seemed, and I mean anecdotally, to improve the outcomes I was getting. Okay, so what is thumb pulling? This is trying to do this at home using your thumbs to try and manipulate your skull. And I, I kind of, this idea of doing something yourself on yourself and doing it regularly at home, it, it rings a lot of sensible bells with me. You know, a lot of experience I've done through various different treatments where you go to see a professional once or twice a week in comparison to when you're doing something yourself every day. And even more than that, when you're doing it upon yourself and you get some sort of personal feedback that you, a practitioner could never, it would never be quite the same if you had someone doing it for you. The idea is, Basically, I believe, and I've not really done a deep dive yet, is holding the side teeth between your fingers and thumbs and gently trying to manipulate this. And in theory, you should be trying to 
manipulate this with the cranial rhythm that's already going and trying to slowly magnify it if you will all right but the, clearly i've not done the deep dive yet so we're going to be working forward now i'm interested in whether it would be the tongue would actually normally drive this rather than thumbs clearly thumbs are what we're going to do in thumb pulling it's a whole word of name of it thumb pulling so what you're doing you're doing some artificial assistance of what would happen naturally so now the cautions that i've gleaned so far would be potential damage to the teeth or the gums because you're putting pressure on them if you've got loose teeth that could be a real risk or if you've got i guess if you've got gum disease as well and several people have mentioned that they've actually hurt their thumbs trying to do this so please be aware of that as well and what i noticed going through these comments is that some people claim to have gained asymmetry now clearly is one of the things that i've said out loud that I'm cautious about anyone with asymmetries. Really, we've got to start from the ground and work up. And asymmetries in the cranial structure are incredibly complex. Now, I'm looking for people to interview um, and talk to. I want people who can demonstrate results and not just poorly angled selfies. You know, I would like to see more than that that you can demonstrate to me. I want to talk to some craniosteopaths and some craniosacral therapists and some other um, professionals. I want evidence for this. I want evidence against this. Um, if anyone wants to sign up for me to talk to, for any reason, you know, if you're running a course, if you've done this or you've got a good result that I would love to see, um, you can sign up on the volunteer link that we'll put down below. So it'll be marked volunteer link. One name that's come up a couple of times was Oscar Patel. So Oscar, please contact on the volunteer link. I'd be interested to talk to you. Anyone in this field I want to talk to, I want to drill down and find answers and then move those answers forward. You know, one of the advantages, I have some experience in this area. I'm medically qualified. And what I'm going to try and do is he's a part the answer see what we can get then we'll come back to this in the future we'll probably come back to it several times and see what results how we can magnify the results as i said we're scratching the surface with mewing so how we can get better and better results so now i went on to reddit when i started this in fact that was a month or so ago and i made some comments i'll put the link underneath of where i went to reddit because i will go back there i've asked someone with a handle speckly frog to go and do some research for me this is the type of hand i need someone to go and do some of the heavy lifting for me to help me produce more so if you see Speckly Frog there, she's working for me. So please give her some information. But I've just read it. I just, ah, every time I go on the site, it, it, it asks me to log in. Then it says my password's not right. I have to make a new, I've got three handles on Reddit now. It's just crazy. And then I need to go on that Discord one as well. So, you know, I, I need, I'd love also someone to give me a hand getting through and understanding how to use these. What I really want to do, you know, I, I saw some good cases and I really wanted to talk to one of the guys. I was in mid conversation. I'd made a couple of comments, went back a few days later, couldn't get back and haven't been able to get back again. So very sorry for not continuing that conversation. Please understand why I was. Now, I would also be really interested in other therapies you would like me to review. So put them in the comments underneath. I'm not reading the comments at the moment. I don't have time. But if some people are reading the comments, so that's going to move forward. And as a general rule, I'd love to help. I'd love people to help me with other videos. Doing some of the baseline research, we'll put their names at the end of the video, I'll give them cue credit, I'll thank them very much, go down to the volunteer link in the bottom, and to help me use Reddit and Discord. Now, the final little comment I want to make, because I keep hearing this, and it is ringing, we, we, all these people talking about, oh, I had a go and I didn't get results, and I think, well, hang around, don't forget, if you are 18 years old, it's taken you 18 years to get to the position you're in now. Now, don't expect after one or two days, you're not gonna get much change. You know, I always found this with bodybuilders. I'd sit down with a bodybuilder and I'd interview them, I'd give them a consultation because we were thinking of doing some treatment. I might have a normal person would come in first and I would say, well, it will take a couple of years for you to start seeing results. And they'd go, what, years? Years? I'd go, well, that's how long it takes. The next person comes in as a bodybuilder. And I said, it's gonna take a couple of years to get results. And they go, well, that makes total sense. Cause it took me a decade to get the body looking like that. 
or this, however they were. And they totally understand. It takes time. I mean, if you want to go and have surgery, yes, it's changed the next day, but there are risks, there are complications, it's gonna hurt. And the, the relapse rate or the return to where you came from is extremely high. So, you know, gently, gently, catch a monkey, as my mother used to say, it takes time to get results. So listen, okay, thank you very much. I look forward to getting some information. We're gonna put something together and then I will learn about thumb pulling. Thank you very much.